What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to dive into a fascinating and rapidly evolving use case of generative AI that is AI generated audio. Now, this year, generative AI came out to party enabling users to create images, texts and audio clips so well that it's, it's indistinguishable from human made content. So you have probably figured out what this video is going to be about based on the audio you just heard from Matthew McConaughey and Morgan Freeman. Well, we are going to talk about AI voice cloning, which is an amazing yet terrifying technology at the same time. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my videos. All right, so let's jump into it. So voice cloning is a process of creating a digital copy of someone's voice. It sounds like science fiction, but the truth is the voice cloning technology has been around since 1998 and has been improving since. In the past, voice cloning was a complex process requiring either voice recognition software or manual creation of a digital voice copy by piecing together snippets of speech. But now, thanks to AI, it's become easier than ever. Now, one of the companies at the forefront of enabling AI-based voice cloning is Eleven Labs, which was co-founded in 2022 by Piotr and Mary, ex-Google and ex-Palantir. Eleven Labs offers a browser-based AI-assisted text-to-speech software that can produce lifelike speech by synthesizing vocal emotion and intonation. Now, another AI solution they provide is called Voice Lab, which is only available to their premium users that lets them upload a custom voice sample to create voice cloned audios. Now, let's see how this really works. So we'll click on Add Generative and Cloned Voice, then select Instant Voice Cloning from the solutions. And once that is done, we'll bring a sample audio. And here I'm bringing Matthew McConaughey's speech from the Oscar. If it's more than five minutes, it's preferred. But again, just because I'm testing, I'm going to say I have consent for this. And now we're going to use this voice and generate some audio that is similar to Matthew McConaughey. Now, as you can see, I put the text in. I'm changing some settings here. That is one around stability. And the other one is how similar or clear the audio needs to be. Now, once that is done, I'm going to click on generate audio. And as you can see, that is generating an audio file. Now, that audio file is going to generate exactly the audio that you heard in the beginning. Now, this year, generative AI came out to party, enabling users to create images, texts and audio clips so well that it's indistinguishable from human-made content. All right, so now that you've seen how it works, let's talk about the implications of this technology. As you can imagine, the ability to clone voice can raise some serious ethical concerns, especially with this technology getting used for deepfakes or false propaganda. Eleven Labs has faced criticism already for the potential misuse of this software. For example, some folks use the AI technology to generate celebrity hate speech. In response, the company has limited access to voice cloning feature to only paid subscribers and just today announced an AI speech classifier that will provide a verification mechanism to identify if sample audios contain 11 Labs AI generated audio. So here I'm uploading the audio we had just generated for Matthew McConaughey's voice for the text that we had put in and now we are going to see if the AI speech classifier actually is able to detect it or not. And now as you can see, it has detected that 98% possibility that this was generated using the 11 labs voice cloning technology, which is really good. And I'm glad that they're putting in these capabilities because ethically we need to have standards so we are able to detect if voice cloning is happening on audios or not. Now, despite the controversy, it's clear that voice cloning technology may have a wide range of use cases from creating more personal customer service interactions to enabling creators to produce more content. For one, it can actually speed up content creation, allowing you to generate audio as easily as typing into a document. And for those who make money from audio content, it can actually serve as a form of voice insurance. For example, if you lose your voice or if it's not in a great condition one day, you can actually produce content with your cloned voice. Now, I personally feel only time will tell what happens and how this deck really shapes up. What do you think about voice cloning? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until I see you again, stay true, stay consistent.